let's face it, everybody's got two cents and everybody's got two minutes. So here's my two cents in under two minutes. I hate Mondays. Oh, yeah, it doesn't take much to hear this at the water cooler. I hate Mondays. Really means I have no clue what I'm going to do this week. I have no clue why I go to work. I have no clue what my real goals and motivation are. If you are influenced by your environment, if you believe that you're influenced by your thoughts, okay, understand that all these things that you're hearing around you on TV, radio, podcast, your friends, your relatives, at the water cooler, when you're hearing these little things and you're allowing this to permeate your environment without saying, knock it off. If you're not going to stand up and say, knock it off, it's not okay, you're agreeing with it by allowing it. You're going mutually into an agreement with it by not saying something about it. I hate Mondays means I don't know what I'm going to do. Because look, if you had, if you were going to become worth a billion dollars today, you're going to go to the New York Stock Exchange on Monday morning, and they're going to announce your company as an IPO, and you're going to become a billionaire today. You're going to change the world today. Maybe you're not money motivated. You're going to change the world on Monday. Would you be walking in saying, I hate Mondays? If something unbelievable was going to happen to you today on Monday, would you really say, oh, I hate Mondays? If you were going on a vacation of your lifetime, a world vacation to the best cities that you ever dreamed of, would you say, I hate Mondays? No. See, the person that says, I hate Mondays, doesn't know where they're going doesn't know what they're doing, and they don't know what they're going to do while they're at work today. Get your game together. Get your head together and quit allowing people to talk like this in your environment because they're making you hate Mondays.